everything, everything is connected. And so everything has a value. And that's what ecological economics tries to do, really. It's trying to put value on all of these things within a system, whether it's the value of the crop or the value of the water or the value of the soil. Well, my name is Heather Darby, and I'm the agronomist for the University of Vermont Extension. And UVM Extension is the outreach and education arm of the university. I work with less traditional students, I guess. So my students here in the state of Vermont are farmers. I would say it's getting harder and harder to dairy farm in the state and in any state. It's, it's the same way everywhere. Sometimes we're only putting a value on a commodity such as milk. And we're not putting a value on all the things that producing milk um, has an impact on. When a farmer produces milk, they have someone that's helping them. That person is taking their paycheck and spending that within the community. That farmer is producing cow manure that then is brought back out into the land and is feeding the life in the soil and keeping the soil healthy. So it's keeping the environment healthy and contributing back to the natural resources. There's no monetary value put on that and a farmer is not paid for that. Most of the energy usage on a farm is in the form of diesel fuel and there's no fancy technology really that we had to come up with and farmers started to ask well can we produce our own oil and make diesel fuel and that's how the project got started. So part of this project is really fitting oil seed production and biofuel production into livestock systems. A system like biofuels or dairy farming can't be sustainable or profitable if you don't try to put a value on everything. You know, this is one of the most exciting things for these farmers in Vermont that's happened in a long time because it's something different. You know, they have something new to focus on and hope um, and, oh wow, this is fun. You know, look at all these different things we're doing. And so people like to come to this research site and see all the different crops and see all the potential that's out there. And I think it gives them hope.